mind. Women is when they see me, what they do, they think that Quran like Quran is sad. Because they don't say Imam going to ask for Quran Right? That's what it's so, doing. Philadelphia, the women like that. I love the women Philadelphia. Sometimes, if I don't even ask for the money, they already have the money, then you will want to cry. Imam, you know, there are more people that are more young than them. You see? That's how we do that. So, I don't have an easy وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم خيار وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد. We thank Allah God for you praise him for everything. We thank him for this moment. This is a very great moment for the couples to be that we here to share their happiness and each and every individual who is here is here to make it happen. May Allah bless you all. Uh, like every Tuesday again. You are standing here. Thank you, sir. All the camera when you are here, standing here. Hi, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. All the camera room in the house, let me see you. I, you look, you look, you will learn. Yeah. You're standing, and hey, you come out, we want stand, let me see you. All the people who are on camera, you're standing, let me see you. Hey, your man, I come out, let me see you. Hey, your grandma, I come out, let me see you. Stand up. Ah, yeah, thank you. You're sitting. We're here, we're here. Ah, thank you. champion. You want to score ball trash like that, they will pack it on the side, fill with all kind of things that they want you to be wearing. One of his little brothers there called Valley, they were all proud. 
They were staying warm in Stojane near the market, right? But you can, I still remember that vividly. Today we hear it is an honor for anyone for you to be living sound to see your daughter or your son get married. This opportunity is not given to everyone. Some people are born, they will never be privileged, they were not privileged to get married. But today we are happy. So I serve here in dual capacity. This is our daughter. <coughs> and the man who got married four days is our brother and son. So what I want to share with all of us, marriage is a gift from Allah. Marriage is a gift from Allah. And in our Islamic tradition, it's also considered to be acts of worship. When you marry Islamically, you worship in Allah. But marriage comes with lots of responsibility. But this very marriage is unique. Why make it unique? You know, in life, when you try to undertake something, when you succeed, you have two pleasures. One pleasure is the effort you apply. The second pleasure is the outcome that you desire. And when you try to do something and you don't get the desired outcome, you have one pleasure. The pleasure is the time and your dedication. But things that we do and fail we have one pleasure, at the same time we have experience. When you hear this man, an experienced man, he has gone through so many trials. Sometimes he succeeds, sometimes he fails. <coughs> Put together, it's called experience. Oh, they owe my experience. That means you have gone through so many things. This man, an experienced married man, he has gone through so many things. These are our children, the young. But they all have package of experience. Marriage is not new to Fudit Kamara. Marriage is not new to you. But what we are going to celebrate here today is called New Beginning. Fudit is coming into this marriage with experience. Our daughter is coming into this marriage with experience. That's what makes this particular marriage a unique marriage. Are we on the same page? Yes. Because when Allah bless you, he gave you the quality that can maintain marriage, then he has blessed you. All the married women here, they go through so many things. All the married men, including myself, who go through so many things. But no marriage is to be undertaken for the man and the woman to be enemy. No. Now we ask ourselves, when things go wrong, why is it we have to be enemy? And that was not the intent. It's simply because the misunderstanding. We can disagree to agree. In marriage, one of the good things that Allah has given to a human being is communication to talk. You can't marry a woman and then you set unexpected expectation. What does that mean? The things you want, the thing you feel that it should be done to you or for you, but you, didn't, you don't tell your partner you want that to happen. Is anybody a magician? Can that work? Then you look at the woman and say, well, how the woman can do? No, that's the wrong thing. Oh, you say, oh, oh, your friend man can do it. No, not all my friend can do it. What do you want me to do? Let me know. Let's talk. Put it in, baby. That question I ask you, you don't like me, baby. My daughter, where your favorite suit you can cook? Huh? Don't laugh. 
cassava leaf. Real oil or agu oil or kakana oil. Which one? Real oil. It's the attorney answer you're laughing and not laughing. For the how you like the cassava leaf? Huh? Uh, you see that? So they may not let Agu or cassava. Now, if they don't say that, you think she will know? Then she go cook it with Agu oil nicely. Then for the look at I like cassava, but not the one I like. But a cassava leaf. But for how to understand, for those say, you know, I like cassava leaf, but I like it to buggy. So in life, we have to communicate. When there's no communication in a relationship, it will undermine the safety of the relationship. So we must communicate. We got to exchange talk. But sometimes we go into marriage before communication. We say she know, she don't know. He know, he don't know. You're starting new life, you sit down and talk. Then you'll find life easy. Today, this woman was raised by his by her father. And the mother, they love her. They care for her. That's why you see one special table here, the sorry for sitting down there. You know, usually the sorry for all the beautiful women, they don't give it to nobody. Who knows this over them? You mom, you don't know that, right? <laughs> no, if, am I wrong, right? You're right. All the beautiful women in the sorry for family, when you tell yourself, oh, no, we'll get to the house and then feel over there. When you tell yourself, I'm already, I'm already, when they say, when you were born, they tie the rope on her hair. And you know, so we'll get on with the next. I know I can have it. But they want the camera will tell you here. So, you see that here, they love their daughter. The same way they love this woman, they want you to love her like that. They want you to take care of her. The fathers are here to make public declaration that today they will pass responsibility to you. So that's a new beginning. But we have never lived together before. For you to start, you need to communicate. Our brothers in the back, please. Please. Marriage is a gift. And marriage is among the cosmos signs of Allah. What do I mean by that? The big, big thing that Allah swear to, like the creation of the heaven. The creation of the mountain, the way they are so big, that how married is to Allah. But many of us today we are living in marriages that are dysfunctional. <laughs> the men sleeping in the living room, the woman in the children's room. Under one roof, they say the married, that married is dysfunctional. Some of the marriages we get. The man and the woman living in one house, they can't talk. It's dysfunctional. The woman thinks she's right. The man thinks he's right. Everybody stay in their own little corner. And they're showing that by example to the children. It's not healthy. We should have the will and the courage to talk. And if the woman wants to address you, be patient and listen. If the man wants to address you, be patient and listen. But if you, both of you cannot listen to each other, you are If two of you cannot reconcile because everybody thinks it's so right, you appoint people that you respect, your trust, to sit down and look into your matter. That person had to be old man? No. That person had to be old lady? No. Somebody wise, somebody sincere, somebody with experience. Because when you get gray hair, you don't get wisdom, you don't experience, you will spoil it. Then Allah said in the Quran, in you read that islaha. Two ways. The people you're going to appoint arbitrators to bring you together, if they are sincere, they want to fix between you, 
يوفق الله بينهما على وقت نبوة. إن يريد إصلاحا، إذا ما إن the woman surely want to resolve the situation, Allah will make it work. Gentlemen, I think we're hearing noise, but it's not fair to us. What day is today? You the speaker for uh, all Tuesday? Where you at? Uh, all right, I don't want to hear no more talk again. So, marriage is a journey. It's beautiful. We it come with a lot of responsibility. When you want to live successful, prosperous marriage, do not look at the weaknesses of the woman. We all human beings, we have weaknesses. If you hold any human being by the weaknesses, for true you will fall apart. It's like you set trap. Right? Don't say ambush for your husband or your, your wife. When you work with when you hold a man by his weaknesses, you will not go any further. You work with his strength. Then you will enjoy them. You will understand each other. Forty to every married man. If your wife don't understand you, try to understand her. Does that make sense? Yes. 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 Be reasonable, be objective. Then marriage will go ahead. But it will still have some rough days. But your manhood will be challenged by your marriage. Your womanhood will be challenged by your marriage. To be real, real woman, Manigopo say, Baramuso, is to be able to be in a marriage and stay inside. They real, real baramuso. You know what Allah will do for you? On the day of judgment, you'll be baramuso, you are gentle. Does that make sense? Yes. You say you're tough, you say you're good. If you can't keep it together, what's your strength? And to be real man, mature man, responsible man, is to be able. They both say wrap around. And that tafe, they call wrap around. What book can tap tafe for? Is to, to wrap around problem, right? You gotta be man. You wrap around the problem. Don't expose the woman problem. Then you real man. When you do that in this life, you Muslim, Allah will make you the leader of your family and agenda. Because this is an act of worship. But it comes with patience. It comes with endurance. When the woman calls you man, it doesn't mean she divorce. Don't tell you man says my wife calls you, right? Right. Yeah, it can happen. But almost then, they cost you much. Don't say that one to anybody. Okay, American, it never happened. You know, if you don't tell anybody, who will know? Nobody. But yes, it cost my mom. Your mom was not there. If you tell your mom, you don't want to cost you mom, right? Let it go. She's your wife. She's cooking for you. She's born your children. She got so many good qualities. Jump over that. When she cost you mom, and she get mom too. Don't pay you that, but don't say anything. <laughs> then you're responsible, man. Because this woman is given to you for you to monitor her, for you to watch over her, and for you to lead her. Women in general, they live by emotion. When a woman discover your power base, she will get less respect for you. Don't let the woman discover your power base. Your power base, that will make you to be man. But involve your wife into your daily routine, things that she's supposed to know because she wants security. Once the woman know there's no more security in a relationship, it's done. It's done. Yeah, excuse me. The man and the woman can live together. They will spend years. Sometimes, excuse me, they will not sleep together. But the day a woman will be important, you're important she will pack on the next day. Because the hope is gone, right or wrong. No matter what you do, I buy you likes it. No, I buy it. But when she know you're healthy, you're not like that, but she cool. She know it there. But when she know it's gone, it's done. 
truth. That's called power base. My sister, a lie? If I lie, I tell me. Attack me! They are required. We are bashing each other here. So, communication can help our marriage to go ahead. Today, the Suare, the Kamara, they all have interest in this marriage. But sometimes, when we are angry, we take decision because it's us. Don't be selfish when you marry. Think about your children. Think about your in-law. Think about your friend. Think about the imam that are conducted the marriage. Think about the people who admire you. So if you want to take any decision, pause a little bit. Many divorce. If you talk to the man, when he explains his side, you say you're right. You talk to the woman, you see a smell side, you say you're right. But you're right, it didn't work. What are you right going to do for you now? So let's try to endure this for the sake of Allah. Understand your man, understand your woman, and also maintain Allah command and avoid Allah prohibition. Sometimes we'll continue to do things in our home that is displeasing Allah, Allah will challenge us. If you can listen to Allah and your wife don't listen to you, what are you going to say? If you can maintain the ethic of marriage with your husband and Allah try you, what will you say? So all of this can come. Adam alayhi salam, Allah conducted marriage between Adam and Hawa in Al Jannah. And then Allah said, Adam, you marry now. You're a family man now. But you live in Jannah. Adam, you and your wife, you live in Ajana. And anything you like in Ajana, free for you, you can eat it and live life. But it's a tree. Don't come close to that. The Allah boundary. When Adam went beyond the boundaries of Allah, even what happened? Mm. Allah took Adam and his family and threw them all at Jannah. Instead of you praying in your house, you turn your house into a nightclub. Hey, Allah will bless you. <laughs> Somebody whom you go, when you ask for remote control, you can see it. When you say, what are you praying about? They say, it was here yesterday. <laughs> now, does that mean Allah always being respected over there? You won't maintain it because it's Allah who's going to guide you. The woman's heart is with Allah. Your man's heart is with Allah. If you ask Allah to guide you, then you will control it. But if you ignore Allah, you will be challenged and you will have so many problems. The artificial love and conditional love can hold marriage together. But what can hold it is spiritual love. What is spiritual love? You take the woman for who she is. You accept the man for who he is. And you understand them, and you stay in the marriage, you work with him for the sake of Allah. You come with a mess, when the man talks, he, he looking everywhere, he think he's the only man. He walk on the sky. Don't worry. Sorry, Experiment with Amra, with Dada. And I'm going to do with Dada. Go, 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 go. He says, I can't go over now. I can't, you know. That's the time I should get control of you. That she will control. She will, she will make the decision for you. When you want to say, where are you going? Tell me to go. I said, sit down, man. You're pregnant. And then you'll sit down. And now I get happy. Yeah. That's a spirit woman. So be like that. You understand me? Be like that. Because the day will come, you will settle down. But when the person gets too much energy, let them burn some of the energy. They will rest. They will rest. So all of this will give you this scenario to tell you that the journey you are going to undertake, it has ups and downs. And don't make those men your friend who feel themselves. You know, there are men 
who can be father, but they can't be husband. When he goes home, he gets two children there. When he goes home, he gets three. But he cannot even sit down to construct family. That one, that man, but not husband. When you want to give your daughters to man, you give it to husband, not man. You hear that the corner say, baby part. Baby part doesn't mean you're your husband. <laughs> baby man do not mean your wife. Real woman, a wife. But play play woman, that baby man. Play play woman, that baby man. Who will take you seriously? Nobody. But when you control them and you say that you become wife, then you get honor for yourself. At the same time, you start distributing yourself, you say that like a man, then they call you husband. Be husband. Don't be a guest. Don't be baby part. Be wife. Don't be baby mother. Does that make sense to y'all? So Islam tells us to be husband and wife. That we want to marry, you will marry Mu'mina. You want to marry, you will marry Mu'min. You work together. That's the best thing we can do. If we work together, we will prosper. If we talk to each other, we will be on the same page. If we respect each other, we will be able to listen to each other. Then life will go on. Now, parents, when your daughter comes to you with a problem, calm her down. When you marry, when they men do bad, they tell you, don't tell your pa here, don't tell your pa over there. Then tell your brother and sister and put them. If that's something you can overcome, you'll resolve it. Because when you tell them, when they start getting best, you go to my own to it. Put the three on the So what do you do to you? You know what happened? We're going to fill it. That's what I'm showing you myself. No. <laughs> tell your sister, so where you? Bow, right, sit down. Don't tell your sister there. They will say, what? That had you treating you? That girl will show her something just now. Who she did? She did. Then you don't want to put her in trouble. You will handle your problem. You will resolve your issues. Then Allah will guide you. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give her the understanding. Finally, I conclude. When you want to marry a woman, marry the woman that when you vex, you angry. When she says stop, you can calm down. That's your real wife. You want to marry, marry the man. When you confuse, you distress. When he talks to you, he can calm you down. That is your real man. That's the security we should look for in marriage. But when the man says stop, he can't even bring her into the ear. That's not the man. When you come home, when the man, the woman talk to you, you don't even consider her. She, she does not exist. That's not the woman for you. But the one that when they talk to you, you can see sense and calm down, that's a woman, and that's the security we should look for. If you don't find that, even if she can, he can buy Lexus, don't go there, it will not work. If you can't find that, even if she can cook, tobogi, don't go there, it will not work. Does that make sense? So, uh, Imam, so far, I think that's what I was able to share. And I hope that Allah will give her the understanding for a young one that has not married and those that are married and they get shaky relationship may Allah strengthen it and put it together Amen. those who want to marry may Allah give their good spouses Amen. those of you that your children are married they pray you doing in the middle of the night may Allah answer the prayer to guide them Amen. some of you the women the difficulty you went through in your relationship don't share that with your daughter to discord to scare her don't scare the children in the marriage you don't want somebody want to get on the airplane. You say, look, that airplane is going to go way in the air. But he can't know where to, to stay. He can fall down and kill down the plane. No. Huh? No. You don't want to get on the plane. He said, we'll go up, we'll go through the plow, we'll go, but anything can happen. Then, no, I'll say, you know what happened? I'll go by the road. Right? So, you'll share the beauty of marriage to your children to encourage them. But the difficulty you have, it may not be for them. So, don't share the negative thing with them. Share the good one with them. All the worship we don't so fast not coming, right? We pray, we do this and that. Because Allah said to pray to fast. It's a difficult job. But the people who God conscious who fear Allah, they will find it easy. But if you made the worship difficult for somebody to convert, you think know, they will join Islam? No. But when you explain the beauty part, they will not find no difficulty. Let's share the beauty of marriage. The bigger picture. 
Allah, the one that created it, is a gift from Allah to us. It's a test in our life. And when we do worshiping Allah, let's share that. Right, Zainab? Yeah. You know, we're not making you up. I see why someone keeps looking on that side. <laughs> Sorry, you know, I can't take none of that now. No problem, no problem. You can look there, you're not bad. You know, anybody when you see white, beautiful, what you can do? You smile. I've been looking when I thought I had already been looking. Look at my son. This is halal, though. It's halal. When you dress, finally, don't be your husband empty in the house. Don't be a husband stepman in the house. Some of the women, when you go, you mom, they say, Where your where nephew? Say, No, I'm a husband. Because she not leave her, say, Get a class. <laughs> you can see nothing. Right? But when they say, Let go for vocation, when they come up, you say, This is it. Don't be your husband and in the house. You're listening to me, young people. I'm telling you now. Islam say, when the man go to work, when you tell me home, you go to journey, you must tell your wife on my way. Because the woman should prepare herself, make herself smell good, and prepare and use the next day. You know, nice. And when you come, you like But every time the man come, you look like a Every time you can do something, tell me, are you encouraging a man? Oh, you're discouraging him. Encouraging a man. And for the long one, the way you dress today, you trim your beard nicely, face shiny, you smell good, don't change it. She won't see that all the time. Don't be your wife, grandpa. You say, why you messing in here? Don't go. They say, I say, why? I said, I they say, I'm not telling you not to be eating late, now you can't stop it. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Be your wife's husband. Be your wife's sweetheart. Don't tell the thing I love you. Don't tell the thing I love you. You see, because this thing will be overlooking, but the one that can make the thing to go smooth. But I say, not so. So, you'll be like that. You will enjoy life. You understand me? You will enjoy life, and you will be happy. Don't listen to us, our people. For them, you get a new phone, or go to your contact list, and adjust it. <laughs> you wanna laugh, bro? Everybody privates in, in the thing here. Yes. When you're in the bathroom, or the man say you pray sooner. Then you're traffic, you sing a song of doom. They trap, they trap it. There's something wrong. <laughs> and then when the woman phone ring, they say, I'm not alone. Be careful. When I want to start coming, everybody hiding from each other. You know what I'm saying? Don't be like that. Sorry? You buy a new phone with our daughter when she goes to the last year. You know, and for the, we here today, I see every, you know, this group they call it every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, they can meet. And they can roast both. And they bring her time. And then they can meet. But they are very supportive of each other. What they will do for the mass you today, I don't know. Because for they want security. If you leave your own town, you gotta go to a beautiful woman to go, you gotta come with army. Because somebody ambush you. That's why you see every Tuesday here. But every Tuesday, I want you to demonstrate something to the magic so people can know that you're here. At this point, I'll stop and ask Allah to accept uh, our dua and to Unite these two people. Bring Aya Sabari. I do Aya Sabari. Bring peace between them and make all of us happy. And our dysfunctional marriages, we ask Allah to make them functional. We ask Allah to give us patience 
And I conclude, I share something with the Imam today, I will share it. Last night I was praying, I read some kind of ayah in the Quran. I knew that before, but I did not know the true meaning. And the ayah say, you who the man, it says some of your wife and children, they are your enemy. But if you forgive them and pardon them and overlook their sin, remember, Allah is forgiving and merciful. So what we need to learn, when the woman do you wrong, forgive her. When your children don't listen to you, pray for them, forgive them. That's what makes you real father. Don't abandon them. Don't turn your back on them. It's not good. You yourself too, you make sin. And you want Allah to forgive your sin. So when you forgive your wife's mistake, overlook it, and your children, and pray for them, then Allah will forgive you to your heart. We thank Allah once again for this moment. We thank Allah for the insight given to us by Ibn Imam, Imam Jumande, may Allah increase in wisdom, may Allah increase in knowledge, may Allah continue to protect him. Um, I hope each and every one of us got the message from the Imam. The prospective couples, those of us already in marriage, and those who are yet to get married. My dua is may Allah bless all of us. Amen. What we make it today, or the man you put it together today, we ask Allah the Almighty to bless them. Amen. The goodness of marriage, Allah make it easy for them. Amen. Anything that comes to the marriage, Allah make it easy. Amen. May Allah keep you away from the evil ones. And there always be good people around you. Um, Exhortation. What the last point that Imam made is so important. All right. The least, the least days that you can stay not talking to a Muslim, you shouldn't go beyond three days. Three days. So, let's cultivate the heart of forgiveness. So that Allah will forgive us. Let's cultivate the heart of overlooking things. Then Allah will overlook our sins. Let's cultivate the heart of pardoning. So that Allah will pardon us. Because we all make mistakes. <laughs> Have mercy, have pity on those on earth. In Allah above, they will have mercy upon you. So it's very, very important. Our gathering here, let's open our hearts. Let's greet each other with sincerity. Don't say salam alaikum to a sister, to a brother, to a family member. Meanwhile, deep down, your heart is more than evil. May Allah forbid. So please, please, we are in this world. We're not in general. We're in this world. And there are turbulences on this earth. We will step on each other's toes. But if it happens, and you have a third party coming in to resolve the situation, let's let it go. Please, let's let it go. If you don't let it go, you will suffer. You will suffer. So may Allah continue to guide us. May Allah give us the understanding of Islam. We will forgive one another so that Allah will forgive us. May Allah give us then and overlook our sins. Now to get to the pig, the father of the bride just talked into my ears that he wants to say something about his daughter. I said, I will not give you time. He said, please. I said, I'm not. He said, please. It's too deep to his heart. Okay, I see. He said I should give him three minutes.
So I'll give him two and a half minutes. So when he's talking, you check the time. When the time comes, tell him it's over. So that we can continue. So the father, Imam Sheikh Muhammad Sare, has some few words to say about his daughter. Um, today is a beautiful day. Today is one of the most happier days for me. And all our family, the Sorry family, from our father, our grandfather, our aunt, and our sister in here, and all our brothers. I thank the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that God has brought us here today. And you know why I love Sheikh Yamande? I love him so much. That's why when some people see me behind, they're so afraid, it's because he's going to teach him all the things. He's dear to my heart. Um, to the point about my lovely daughter, Aisha. She dear to my heart. I'm kind of emotional right now about Aisha. I mean, in life, there is no one is perfect. We all make a mistake. We all get problems. But the only one that can solve our problem is the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I love all my daughter. So don't okay, so don't be personal. I was someone I speak out, I'm not afraid to say anything, I will say it. Once I know it's right, I will say it. And there's no one can judge me except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we all have our own problem, no matter what it is. It's not everybody going to like you, it's not everybody going to hate you. That's what life is about. Aisha, she's someone very dear to my heart. I love Aisha so much. I know she's a girl, she's a woman that respect me, that listen to me. Aisha, I don't, I, I don't ask Aisha for anything. But sometimes she just calls me uncle. I say you something. Check your Z account or take your cash out account. Which of course, now you know nothing about. When I go check, sometimes it's $500. Sometimes it's $300. Sometimes it's more than that. You never check. You don't say that, right? I don't believe Asha in trouble. But she's someone. If I tell her anything, she listen to me. So, I am kindly asking Fode. Fode is a girl to me. If I mean to talk about my own sister, Sube, that she get called. No one knows it's where it's my sister here, nobody knows. My aunt, from one mother, one father of my mother, that's her daughter being swear. For this, my brother. Well, I'm asking for it. I told him before, I'm going to say it right now if I'm right. Please take good care of Aisha. Please respect her as a woman. Please respect her when she wants to share anything with you. For to be honest, my daughter, I'm sure, I am 100%, she will respect you. She will listen to you. She will. She must have discussed so many things. And she's someone, she don't have nothing away from me. Because I will tell her, talk to me, not talk to me as a father. Don't talk to me as an uncle, because Aisha is my biggest sister, daughter. Aisha is my big brother, and you must worry, daughter. So on the both sides, there is no way out. 
So when they say that I'm going to stand as a father, people are wondering, well, why can't he be not the father? Why he going to be the father? Who is can you read? God is worried. Oh, you are wondering. But they don't know the relationship. If he cannot stand as I shall follow and leave me here. He called me. He said, no, you the father. You got to stand as a father for Aisha. So let me take that down from people's mind. Our relationship is very deep. Very, very deep. Please, for the take care of my daughter. If you don't want me to go after you in Philadelphia, take care of her. Take care of her for the. I know. They said Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday, they can't even stop me. Let me stand and look at that. You can't stop me. Okay, go. So we have it easy. So I will pray for my daughter. The Arab will make it easy for her. I know. I'm not able to advise my sister. My daughter has said, respect your sister, respect your husband. She knows we talk about life. So I will start with because Imam gave me two minutes and a half. I think, you two minutes, right, man? <laughs> so I will start with Inshallah. So I like food in the way. I like food in the way. I like the sweet and food. I like the baraka food. I like the salmon and the ayah. I like the ayah. That's how it should be from all others. Fathers, don't have your children hiding their secrets from you. They forgot that they can every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. All right. Now, quiet place. Quiet place. The more you talk, the more we delay. Let's finish it now, please. Now we are at the peak here. Our groom for the marriage today is Freddy Kamara. As you can see him over there, seated, and his wife to be is on his left side. Why did you change the seat today? Yeah. Yeah. The lady used to sit and the man is supposed to be over there. No, 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 no. You have to put the flower. No, 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 no. The chair. The woman is supposed to be on it. Quiet place. I don't know. I don't know. Fully Kamara, seeing, as you all see, ready to take his wife to Philly. The father standing in for Fully Kamara is Al Haji Zimahaw Mamadi Lamin Kanti. Yes. That's our father there, sitting in as the father of Fodi Kamara. Witnesses on that side, we have Soriba Kamara. Can I see him? Oh, yes. And we have Jawara Muhammad. And that's there on my right. On the other side, Imam Sheikh Muhammad Suare. The witnesses we have here is. One, Muhammad Suare, and the other one is Gafi Suare. So, so now, can you make give me the opportunity to do the marriage now, please? I don't want to, I have to go. I go. Full sweet, all of So now, in the marital system, we have four conditions. One, the couple should be in love. Nobody is forcing them to get married. Aisha, somebody forced you to marry for me? You saw you with your own eyes? And told your parents that I want to marry? For me? Somebody for me? Look, I'll give it one on every Tuesday. So. All right. All right. Aisha, somebody force you to marry him for them. No. Did somebody see him for you or you saw it yourself? No. I you saw it yourself. 
Alhamdulillah. Fodi. Yes. Somebody force you to marry Aisha? No. Did you hear the name? I didn't hear it. But I didn't complain. Oh, did somebody force you to marry Aisha? No. No. <laughs> he's a law sir here, so he's a little bit shy. All right. That's when there should be total love. You can't force somebody to get married in Islam. Now, the second one is dowry. The diary has been paid. The total amount of the diary on is eight hundred dollars. Is it you? No, no, that, no, leave that out. That all protocol is observed. All protocol observed. <laughs> all protocol that the family demanded, whatever they demanded, everything has been observed before we meet in here. If they haven't agreed, nobody will come here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This is just a formality. And then there should be witnesses. We have all witnesses on the men's side, and they will have witnesses on the woman's side. So everything that is expected to be done is completed. And then in marriage, there should be ijab or kabul, giving and acceptance. Right? The bride family give their daughter into the marriage, and the Kamara family accepted, and then everything is done. So, uh, I want the family, sorry, family to give us honor to marry their daughter to the Kamara family. So, I give the mic to Muhammad Sare who, to do us the honor by marrying his daughter and giving it to the Kamara family, inshallah. So, I want you to marry daughter to inshallah and give it to Kamara. Call the woman to come closer. Sir, bring home a Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Imam Sheikh Mohammed Swore. Marry my daughter Aisha Swore to Fudi Kamara in the name of Allah and the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Islam, I, Imam Muhammad Sheikh Sware, I marry my daughter Aisha Sware to Fude Kambara in the name of Allah, may upon the Quran and the Sunnah. I, Imam Sheikh Muhammad Sware, I marry my daughter Aisha Sware to Fude Kambara. According to the Quran and the Sunnah. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa The old man should do us the honor of accepting Aisha to become a member of their family, inshallah. Sir, ba, can't do the interpretation. Yeah, but get, get, hold the mic. The woman will tell them you will say it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then take your hand. The old man is greeting everybody in the name of Islam and he says he's happy of being here today. Fudi and his sisters and other family 
were the source of him being here today and being opportune to be part of this wedding. The old man is saying that he's very happy. He came over here, what he saw his son doing and interacting with people. It makes him very proud of his son and he's very happy and he's so much appreciated everything he's doing here. Yeah, man, I'm to baby. Nakulu, Pune, Abara Taros, and Obey, Abara and Gas to me, Abara Pamas to me, Abara and Omo Payes to me. The old man is saying that with the kind of Jama he's seen here, has spoken to him that Pune has come over here fond of mother, fond of father, and he was also able to have brothers and sisters as well. He said before they came over to the stage, the old phone told him, he said, uh, Uncle, I have collected, I found somebody, I found a beautiful woman over there, but uh, I'm not going to say anything, but when we get there, you see what it is, you will take the message back to the rest of the family room and let them know what I found. Over <laughs> The old man is saying that he's happy. He got Asha in his two hands. He accept her. He said not even Newark can value the diary that mark that she wore. <laughs> Say by God's willing, when he gets back home to Guinea and Sierra Leone, he will give them what he saw here. And I told my this was a habit of my dear man. One hand is talking, and I'm so over. Well, in Munio, you can never learn to go to bed. The old man is repeating himself. He said he's begging the Suarez as he has accepted Aisha. He said, if we give million, million, Asha is still valued in that. Attack them! Attack them! Now, we are in the Nasu, Contra Girabama, Mpawan, the Kiri Bay, and 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 the old man is saying he's happy before he leaves from here, he will also make his business to bring the two of them together and share his experience with them by advising them as well. So in this regard, we are listening to the story and we want to hear from them. Yeah, right, you're accepting. But then the old man tell you more already. The owner said that he has received a woman and he got a woman and he got a woman for his son. Oh, thank you. And with that token, we don't have a million dollars to buy this woman. She's priceless. Money can buy. But to show our dedication, our happiness, little token to fulfill the tradition 
The Camara present $200 to be for three cow. The soiree, they are our caramel. They are in law. I want to, to accept it because Prophet is saying the marriage that gets blessing is the marriage that is easy. Yes. Right? Yes. And we know the soiree they didn't want to talk all that. So may Allah put blessing in them. So we made a presentation. Salam alaikum. <laughs> You know, uh, when they say who get juice in Philadelphia, I'm sorry, every Tuesday. If you're love for it, you I want you to prove it to Imam Jibril here today. He's the chairman now. That's what I say, sir, the chairman. I'm the ambassador. You'll prove it from your pocket. Salam alaikum. Attack me. Okay, um, I think I got to be part of this Tuesday. Let me see if I know what it is. All right, no, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I will start from the team they start right now. Uh, I will start with $50 right now. Uh, I'm starting with $50 right now. And when I can't into this marriage here. So what I do here, what I do here, Hey, excuse me. What I do here? Tuesday, you want to collect any from Asawa and Alhamdulillah. You can do that. Fine. But my $20, you'll pay it. Now, I start with $50 right now. So, everyone that here, for Allah, because you came here, for the love of holy, for the love of our beautiful daughter. So for Allah to pour blessing into this marriage here, for our imams to make beautiful daughters from their hearts, we are going to collect $20 from everybody here, inshallah. So it's $20. Ask my mom with $50 right now. MashaAllah. Amen. I do please. I do I can do song. I'm hoping it tomorrow I do. I do please. My name is Sidi Tukwe. I'm the chairman of the social committee of every Tuesday. And I'm here with my Where's the Imam? Huh? Imam has a well. You know, the funny thing is, when I start walking, he asks me, Where's my seat? I said, Go over there. Where's the Imam? But on a serious note, um, let me say, you see the group of men you see over here, and we have some of our sisters among the women. 90% of the guys sitting over there are married. That speaks volume. It tells you the kind of group we are. So every Tuesday is, uh, is comprised of serious minded people. So that's why we are here to support our brother. I know we're going to present the money, but that's not okay. If we don't give pieces of advice to fully, we'll be doing justice to him and to ourselves. And the thing is, I'm qualified to give that advice because I'm married. <laughs> so if you are married, there's no need to give advice because you don't know what it takes to be married. For it, I'm gonna look straight to your face. And this is no friendship. You wouldn't get to know a woman when you live with a woman. And marriage, I always tell people, marriage is very easy. But we make it so difficult for ourselves. But Imam said. You have to know your partner. And when you are married, it's a different ball game. It's not about you anymore. Don't go to every Tuesday when it's time to go home and you know very well that the woman has to go to work. But your man will take you to the man, no matter how woman my mom, you go later. Mm -mm. You know me, when I go to every Tuesday, now I'm out. Because next day, my wife has to work and have to take care of the kids. Know these things. When you do those things, 
life is easier, your marriage becomes very easy. So I want to say this to you, man. Try to help your wife at home, support her when she cooks, wash the dishes. So there was a day my wife just, the lady actually was wet and she just looked at me and walked away to go to bed. I was like, hi, I'm going to look on YouTube and figure this thing out. And that's what I did. And since then, I'm a professional. So be a professional like me, for it. Support your wife. Do everything. Listen to her, man. She's a partner. When you listen, I've been married for four years now. There's no issue. There's no issue. Not a day my wife disagrees with me. Not a day. And the thing is, matter of fact, I'm there on the leader. So if you do that, you empower the woman. That's no issue. They are making it easy. They go to the leader, but they do this all day. I'm that man. I'm that man. I'm that man. And you see, you see now, there was something good that we're getting out right now to our, our women. I can see it. They put their whole hand up, but I didn't get all my toilet down from you right there. I didn't get all my toilet down from you right there. And you know they give me money right now, but they, don't, they told me they don't know the amount they collect. So they say it's too much to be count. So they should allow me, I, I hope I will see my toilet down plenty in it though. Because I'm seeing some low, um, exactly. one dollar, somewhere But I have to get easier for you, inshallah. Okay, please now. I'll see you on the Please don't ever take your seat. Huh? Oh, let me know. Oh, let me know. Oh, We are so uh, we are so happy to uh, be here today. Our brother um, Cody in his beautiful word. We just pray that uh, may Allah bless this community. Cody is a nice man, and uh, the social community family that is involved. We will make sure that the trust that the Sari family put in us, we keep the trust alive. We we'll make sure that this woman is well taken care of and can advance from our Cody that we can provide with us to do that as well. So may Allah bless the marriage, may Allah keep the shaitan away from us. We are not, some, some, of, some of us are not married, or some people that are not married here, may Allah bring them husband. People that are married that have problems with their home, may Allah solve their problem. May Allah uh, keep shaitan away from us. May Allah keep shaitan away from us. Amen. 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 Um, in Alhamdulillah, we give Allah all praises and thanks. We reach the, the topic, the, uh, the epic of our program. Now we making the dua for both husband and wife. We read these verses anytime how to share function. So please, let's pay attention so that we have the benefit of what we read. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم الصراط الذين أنعمت عليهم بل المكذوب عليهم وربوا لنا آمين يا 
يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله قولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما Brothers and sisters in Islam, these are three different verses in Quran from three different chapters. One is Surah Al Imran, one is Surah Al Ahzab, and one is Surah Al Nisa. The common word that Allah commanded in all this surah is the fear of Allah. The common word is to put protection between you and the punishment of Allah and the anger of Allah. Ya ayyuhan nasu, ittaqullah. Ya ayyuhan ladhina amanu, ittaqullah. Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu, ittaqullah. Fodi, fear Allah. Today I've been married to Aisha. Based on the Quran and the Sunnah. Fear Allah. Fear Allah how you treat her. Fear Allah what you feed her. Fear Allah what you clothe her. Fear Allah in every aspect of your life. Let the fear of Allah be the foundation of your goals. Fear Allah. All three verses make mention of the fear of Allah. Aisha, fear Allah. You will obey your husband because Allah asked you to, the command to obey your husband. Prophet Muhammad asked you to obey your husband. Fear Allah. Please, let us fear Allah. He said you should always be truthful. Forty, no matter what the circumstances, do not lie to your husband, to your wife. Aisha, don't lie to him. The moment you lie and he discovers the lie, you lose your dignity. She discovers from me that you lie to her, you no more respect it. Everything that you say from then, she has to verify. And when you lie one, you lie to cover the first lie. You lie to cover the second lie. You continue to lie until it's written before Allah that you are a liar. So Allah warned us to be truthful in our life. And the benefit is yet to love me over, but Allah is going to forgive me. For me to say. Uh, I'm sure what I'm saying is not beneficial to some people. So they're talking. So please, please. We're talking about the Quran. The benefit of being truthful is Allah is forgiving you. And if Allah forgive you, you become successful. You want, to, you want to succeed in your marital home. Let the truth be the foundation, the fear of Allah. Whoever obeys Allah and fears Allah and protects himself from Allah's anger, Allah will make way for you. Most of us, we say we don't succeed in life because we don't fear Allah. Allah said, وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ جَعْلَهُ مَخْرَجًا وَيَرْزُقُهُ مِنْ حَيْثِ لَا يَحْتَسِمْ Allah will provide for you. Where people go and suffer, you will go and come as successful. Why? Because you fear Allah. So, it's not too much talk. But as Monday had already spoken. The brother came and then gave a piece of answer which is very, very important. Because many men don't know how to change diapers. Many men. He spoke in the truth. Just we, the men, have to take it by the arm and support our wives. And then he started with you. Alhamdulillah, Brother Mandel said, both of you coming into this marriage with experience. The mistake of the past marriages shouldn't be repeated here because you gain experience. So may Allah the Almighty support you. May Allah bless you. May Allah provide for you. May Allah make it easy for you. So long as you make the fear of Allah foundation of your home, Allah will never neglect you. But if you take away the fear of Allah, don't blame nobody when life becomes difficult because that's what you cause for yourself. Again, I want to take this opportunity to say things that we all know already. Sorry, that place they're talking. 
Now listen. And it goes with our women. Our women. We say Allah give us dinner. We say Amin. We say Allah give us dinner. We say Amin. When we say Muhammad, we say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Do you know the meaning of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Who knows the meaning? The meaning is Ta'atuhu fi ma amara wa tasdiqu fi ma akhbara wa istina ma naha anu wa zagara wa alla yuqbadu Allah illa bima shara. That's the meaning of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Please. Please. Prophet Muhammad. He made mention. When I came in, I first said, because something that we say in it every day. When I came in, I passed through here. Almost 90% of our women have extension. Extension of their head. You don't want to listen. Listen in there. I want to see the faces of this talker. Salaamu Alaikum. We will die. Itakullah Haith Mahakunta. Fear Allah wherever you are. These things, you are beautiful without them. I see some women without it and they look beautiful. Why do you want to be like them? When the prophet said, we will follow them even if they enter the hole of a lizard, we follow them. It's not too late. It's too late for the one who is dead. But for the living, you can make a change in your life. Online, we came here to seek for Baraka. We don't come here for Allah to send his anger upon us. We came here to support the groom and bride. But we don't come here for Allah to not be pleased with us. So please, I know it's kind of a challenge. It's a challenge. But fear Allah. Because Allah can take your soul at any time. You can die now. I was told somebody went to sign, how they call it? When he went to work. To sign in the sheet, that's where she died. So because of the death that will come to us when we don't know, let's fear Allah. You cannot stop it all at once, but tell yourself, I'm not supposed to do this. Allah help me to stop all these things. We don't condemn anybody. We love all of you. It's only an advice. But that can in the fact of dhikr. Advice, admonish where it benefits. If we don't tell you now, Allah will ask us as we got it. You saw all these things. Why Imam Jumande, you do not say this. Why Imam Jibreel, you not say this. Why Imam Jiba, you not say this. What am I going to tell Allah? I smile with you, I see the wrong in you, I need to tell you. Prophet Muhammad said, Mara ameku mankaran, fali gayiru bi yedini, falam yestati, fali lisaanihi, falam yestati, fali qalbihi, wa dhalika adafun iman. If you see anything wrong in Islam, change it with your hand. If you cannot tell you with your hand, talk about it. Advise people. Call the people's attention. Now Allah, somebody from today, he will stop. If you cannot talk, then take that thing in your heart. And that's the weakest word. Amen. You the man, you are responsible. And Allah will ask you. Because Allah put the woman under your care. You see her going to do the wrong thing, and you appreciate, you love, ah, this faith will make you good, beautiful. And you encourage her, you answer before Allah. So may Allah guide us. May Allah give us Iman. I'm speaking to you, I'm not perfect. We all make mistakes. Those that are best in doing wrong are those when they are reminded. May ask Allah for forgiveness. May Allah forgive us. May Allah forgive us all. May Allah forgive us. 
May Allah not punish us for the wrong things that we're doing. And may Allah show the straight path that we are all follow. And may Allah bless and bless our community and bless our children. So I reach out, stop, inshallah, and give Imam Jiba to make the dua for the people for each and every الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المحدود عليهم ولا الضالين اللهم صل على محمد ولا آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم ولا آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد ولا آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك الله لكما وبارك عليكما وجمع بينكما في الخير آمين اللهم بارك الله لكما وبارك عليكما وجمع بينكما في الخير آمين اللهم بارك الله لكما وبارك عليكما وجمع بينكما في الخير آمين اللهم ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة عين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما آمين اللهم نسألك قلبا قاسيا ولسانا ذاكرا آمين وبرد على البلاء شابرا آمين وذودة إنون في أمر الدين والدنيا آمين اللهم هدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من أفيت آمين وتولنا في ما توليت وبارك لنا في ما عطيت آمين وأقنا شر ما قديت فإنك تقضي ولا يكد عليك آمين وإنه لا يدل من عديت تباركت ربنا وكاليت لك الحمد على ما قديت ونستغفرك ونتوب إليك آمين ونستغفرك ونتوب إليك آمين ونستغفرك ونتوب إليك آمين اللهم لا تدالنا في مكاننا هذا ذنبا إلا كفرت آمين ولا غربا إلا نفست ولا مريدا إلا صفيت ولا ميتا إلا رحمت ولا هاجة من هوائج الدنيا والآخرة إلا كليت يا رب العالمين اللهم ربنا أنزل سكينتك علينا في هذا البلد وبلاد المسلمون في كل مكان في أرضك يا الله اللهم أنت السلام ومنك السلام فإنا بالسلام اللهم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا ذبنا اللهم ربنا إننا آمنا بما أنزلت وتبان الرسول فاكتبنا مع الصاهدين اللهم ربنا أفرق علينا صبرا وثبت أقدامنا وانشرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم ربنا لا تذي قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك الرحمة إنك أنت الوهاب وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأسهاب أجمعين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله we thank God for showing us the beginning and the end and إن شاء الله from now on we're studying you can carry yourself and fly to Friday Now let's go and pray, inshallah. All right, mashallah. So family, 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 family. All the food is here, please. Just food. After salat, they can ask them to eat. There's a lot of food. There's a lot of food to carry, inshallah. Yes, that of food, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.